Hey guys, so today we'll be making Lego Sushi. But before we start, I have to tell you something. On our channel, we don't just do Lego building videos, do connect building videos, big lead videos. We also have another channel called Positive Gaming, so let's start. First things first, we're going to make chopsticks. So you're going to need, um, I mean, it's optional how the length you want it to be. I just decided to go with the length that looks good. I've gone for two coloured, which makes it look nice. And the reason why I'm adding a hinge is because um, if you've never seen chopsticks before, um, usually they get like a bit like that. Yeah, they come like that. And plus, um, I don't know how to use chopstick. <clears throat> yeah, um, but anyways, we're going to start making this... I'm going to start off making the sushi. And I'm sorry if you guys love sushi and I pronounce the names wrong. Um, but first off, we're going to be making a Oshi Zushi. I probably butchered that, but I'm really sorry. Um, so first off, we're going to start with these four pieces that indicate the seaweed. Yes, I know what sushi looks like. Who doesn't? Yeah. And then you're going to put these white pieces to indicate the, the rice inside. And then you can add the toppings. I mean, when... Yeah, fish and vegetables i've mostly seen cucumber so it probably is cucumber or sauce so here we have the oshizushi yeah again i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong um we're going to be moving on to the a classic that i'm probably still gonna say the name wrong but i know it is tamaya Tamayagoyaki. I definitely said that wrong. Um, but anyways, so first we're going to move this aside. I'm going to get this piece here. Place these two on here like so. And I'm going to place it like so. And next you're going to get this and this. So this is like the rice part and um, then we're going to put like the seaweed, no not the seaweed, the salmon, yeah. The last one, I couldn't really find what it was called, so you guys probably know what it is. But I've definitely seen it a few times, I just don't exactly know what the name is. So here we have the Tamayo Goyaki. I'm going to slot it there. And now we're going to make like a rice with salmon on it. Pink salmon, though. Yeah. That's what I saw. Oh, yeah. Tuna, my bad. I, I knew that. I obviously knew that. Didn't need any reminders at all. Um. So, like this. And that and here we have it. And 
I'm going to swap that on there. So you might be thinking, well, this is done. Well, no. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if this always comes with sushi if you buy it, but I guess wasabi or guacamole. Um, yeah, I think it's wasabi. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is wasabi. Um, you're going to place these glass tubes here to kind of indicate like a glass jar to hold the wasabi. Very peculiar name. I've heard that wasabi is really spicy, so that's definitely going to be one thing that I won't be having because... I'm not good with spice. Well, I am, but not that much. But I think it's avocado. And then we're going to put these um, little inverted bricks here. Well, not inverted bricks. Those pieces. I can't quite remember the name of it. And then you're going to get this and this one plate here and it kind of makes like a jar of wasabi i mean the only reason why i put this here is so the studs don't fall out because it happened three times and i got really mad but um anyways this actually looks appetizing like i just want to pick up and pick this up and eat it Sad thing, I don't know how to use this. I'll just eat with my hands. Oh, uh, but anyways, so here is the finished thing, guys. I'll just take this off for you guys, like that. There we go. So, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to my videos. Bye, guys.